This is an effort to really talk about the causes of poverty. Okay. To stop criminalizing poverty and blaming poor people for being poor. There are systemic issues that leave certain neighborhoods behind. So this is an opportunity to give not a handout, but a leg up. Yes. You're going to have to join us on the weekend show when we have 10 minutes to talk about this. <laughs> but I so appreciate your time this Thank morning. You. I know it's not easy to speak to everyone. So, so then this is Holly J. Mitchell, one of the co-authors of this program. All right, that was it. That was my report from just a few days ago on a brand new L.A. County program offering guaranteed income. We're talking $1,000 to 1,000 residents for three years. L.A. County's Board of Supervisors Chair Holly Mitchell was kind enough to join us again uh, to talk a little bit more about the program since we have a little more time. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. How are you? I'm um, well. Happy Sunday morning. Thanks for having me. Happy Sunday morning. So let's talk about, uh, there are a lot of people out there would say, you know, why are you going to create this program offering money instead of something like jobs or groceries or child care? Why do you think this is so important? Well, you know, those things are what government already <laughs> offers. Uh, job support, uh, child care, subsidized child care from the state and the local level, and entitlement programs. This is a really new concept. Um, that really is the goal is to help pull people out of poverty permanently, not really kind of a short term stop, stop gap measure. This is a concept that's not new. Dr. King talked about it over 50 years ago as a part of his Poor People's Campaign. And there have been some amazing pilot projects across our very own state of California in Stockton, in Compton, with really um, positive results, showing what an investment in families providing them a guaranteed basic income, what it can do to help them invest in themselves and again, improve their economic future. So that's the goal of the program. This is obviously a controversial program, which we're gonna to get to in just a second, but obviously we've got inflation, we've got gas prices through the roof and people could really use this money. So for the folks who are watching right now that, that, that might qualify, what does it take to participate in this program? So we launched when we were together uh, at a Community Coalition just this past week, March 31st, is when we launched. The um, enrollment period will take place from March 31st through April 13th. So it's a two-week window for people to apply. Go to the website, determine the eligibility. Uh, I think it's really important for people to go to the website and learn all aspects of this program. Don't assume that you're not eligible. If you are over 18, if you live in a community where the overall average median income is at or below 100% of poverty level, you may apply, you may qualify. If your own income is at or below 120% of the average median income for LA County, you could indeed qualify. So these are some unique kind of eligibility standards compared to other government sponsored programs. So I really encourage people to do their research and check it out. And in addition to that as well, you mentioned when we spoke, even if you're not a U.S. resident, even if you're a convicted felon, you could qualify for this money? Absolutely. We are looking, we're working collaboratively with researchers at the University of Pennsylvania and UCLA to really look across the board about how we improve the health of our overall economy. Our overall economy is only as healthy as the least among us, quite frankly. And unfortunately, many support programs have left behind far too many people in our communities, former convicted felons who have served their time, uh, who have now been released, who are coming back into society looking for work, looking for housing to care for themselves and their families. And so that's the goal of this program, to really rethink what it means to be a poverty disruptor. You know, it's interesting that you, you talk about that because I think it really is important. People have to kind of open their paradigm and look at things a little bit differently than when we looked at them in the past. So there would be people, that critics out there that would say, uh, you know, you're basically giving this handout to people who maybe don't deserve it. They should get a job, whatever. There are a lot of people who might say that. You're saying, let's look at this a little differently and maybe you give them just a little bit of a push, maybe just a little bit of a nudge to get them going in the right direction. And in the long run, it's going to be better for our community. Is that what you're, is that what we're looking at? here? You hit it right on the head, uh, Lynette. I appreciate that. That's exactly what it is. You know, we realize we live in a very high cost county. That's the reality. And so the three year period, uh, this the, um, Breathe LA County will be the longest running pilot in the country because it really is our effort to figure out what kind of investment and how long do people need to be able to pull them and their families through. This is an opportunity to perhaps buy that extra piece of equipment to start your small business, 
perhaps it's to go back to school and through a certification program. You know, it is a paradigm shift. And we're looking at acknowledging the fact that families know what's best for them. We're not going to criminalize poverty. We're not going to act as if poor people are, should be blamed for their economic condition. We know the role that systemic racism and classism and sexism plays in um, not supporting people where they are. And so this, again, like you said, is a paradigm shift. And we're really looking differently at what kind of investments early can help people in the long run. I'm glad you brought up the word investment, because when you hear investment, who are the investors? And is there, is there a way to maybe look at return on investment? Is there a way that this is going to be transparent to say, OK, we gave this person X, Y, and, and, and maybe what's the Z that they're providing? How can we find out if this is working or not? Excellent question. And that's the whole point of us having a, um, a strategic, thoughtful research arm to this project, where we're using the University of Pennsylvania who's been involved in all of the guaranteed income programs across the country. You know, there's an organization, Mayors for a Guaranteed Income, where there are literally dozens of pilots like this going on across the country. And so there is the research element. We've already looked at the amazing evaluation of the experience, and we see improved health outcomes, improved mental health outcomes, um, at a different level of educational attainment for uh, parents kids doing better in school, quite frankly, because maybe mom could quit that second or third part-time job that she had to try to keep her family whole. And she's home with the kids with homework help. Um, the, the, the early evaluations are already very positive. We're looking forward to seeing what the LA County experience could add to um, understanding what guaranteed income can really do for entire communities. We're going to run out of time, but we don't want you to leave. In, in 15 seconds, can you talk about um, how we're making sure that, these, that, that this money is used in the right way and not in the wrong way? What are you doing to make that happen? In 10, I appreciate in 10 seconds that. or less. It's a thoughtful uh, application process. Uh, if you go on the website and you'll see We've got a full team uh, at LA County of people who are putting forward programs to alleviate poverty across the board. This is but one tool in our toolbox to help families thrive.